Hello, curious minds. August is packed with planetary alignments, a supermoon, not one but two apogees and some of the best meteor showers of the year. Plus, a spacecraft slingshots past Venus on its journey to Jupiter. Let's dive into what's happening in the sky this August 2025. Let's kick things off with the moon, because August 2025 is lunar packed. We start the month with a first quarter moon on August 1st, lighting up the evening sky with that classic half-moon shape. Remember, shadows along the lunar terminator highlight craters and mountains in awesome detail, so it's a perfect time to grab binoculars or a telescope. And here's a fun twist. That same day, the moon also reaches apogee, its farthest point from Earth. That means the moon will look just a little smaller in the sky, even as half of it is beautifully lit up. Then, on August 9th, we get a beautiful full moon, known as the Sturgeon Moon. This name comes from Native American traditions, especially among the Algonquin tribes, who knew this time of year as the best season to catch giant sturgeon in the Great Lakes. It's a moon tied to abundance, strength, and the height of summer. But this full moon has a bonus. It comes just days before the moon reaches perigee on August 14th, its closest point to Earth this month. That means the sturgeon moon will appear larger and brighter in the sky, what we often call a supermoon, so don't miss it. The third quarter moon follows on August 16th, just as the Perseids are peaking. We'll talk more about that shortly. Then, we go dark with the new moon on August 23rd, which creates perfect stargazing conditions. And finally, we close the month with another first quarter moon on August 31st. And, just like at the start of the month, the moon reaches apogee again on August 29th. That makes two apogees in one month, a rare orbital rhythm that sky watchers will appreciate. Now let's look at the major celestial events this month, and August means meteor shower season. The Perseids are one of the most beloved meteor showers of the year, and for good reason. They peak during warm summer nights, they're known for producing bright fast meteors and under dark skies they can deliver up to 100 shooting stars per hour. This shower is caused by debris left behind by Comet Swift-Tuttle, which the Earth passes through every August. As these tiny comet particles burn up in our atmosphere, they create the dazzling streaks of light we call meteors. This year, the peak occurs on the night of August 11th into the early morning of the 12th, with meteors radiating from the constellation Perseus. You'll get the best views from the northern hemisphere, especially in the pre-dawn hours. But here's the catch. This year's Perseids are seriously moonlit. The full moon on August 9th means the moon will still be 91% illuminated during the peak, and that much moonlight can really wash out fainter meteors. To improve your chances, try to block the moon by hiding behind a building, a tree, or even a hill. Give your eyes time to adjust to the dark, and focus on the opposite side of the sky from the moon. Even with the light interference, the Perseids are still worth watching. You might not see the full 100 meteors per hour, but the brightest ones will still streak across the sky. Another lesser-known meteor shower also peaks this month, the Kappa Cygnids, active from August 3rd to 25th, with the peak around August 18th. This shower originates from the debris trail of a likely extinct or dormant comet, possibly Comet 1917C1, Mellish, though its exact parent body is still debated. Some astronomers believe the Kappa Cygnids may be linked to multiple sources making them a bit of a mystery in the meteor world. The Kappa Cygnids have a relatively low meteor rate, averaging just about 3 meteors per hour, and many are faint. But what makes this shower special is its occasional bright fireballs, dramatic slow-moving meteors that can surprise even seasoned sky watchers. The radiant is near the constellation Draco, and your best chance of spotting them is late at night, when the radiant is high in the sky. So whether you're scanning the heavens for Perseid fireballs or catching a rare bright streak from the Kappa Cygnids, August offers plenty of reasons to look up, just don't forget a comfy chair and some patience. August isn't just about meteor showers, there's also a lot of planetary movement this month, with several conjunctions and close approaches that are well worth checking out. We start with a rare six-planet alignment on August 11th visible in the early morning sky, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Uranus, Neptune, and Saturn will all line up across the sky. If you're up before sunrise you'll be able to spot Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn with the naked eye. For Uranus and Neptune you'll need binoculars or a telescope. It's a great opportunity to see half the solar system in one sweep of the sky. 
The morning of August 12th is packed with action. First, Venus and Jupiter will be in a close conjunction, appearing less than one degree apart in the constellation Gemini. Catch this pairing just before dawn. They'll be bright and beautiful. At the same time, the moon passes near Saturn and Neptune in the constellation Pisces. Saturn will be easily visible sitting a few degrees from the 88% illuminated moon. Neptune will require a telescope, but if you've got one it's a neat pairing to catch. On August 16th, a 46% lit moon will pass close to the Pleiades star cluster, also known as the Seven Sisters, in the constellation Taurus. You'll be able to see both with the naked eye, but binoculars will reveal a stunning field of stars surrounding the moon, a peaceful and beautiful sight in the early morning sky. Between August 19th and 21st, the thin crescent moon goes on a little planet-hopping tour. On August 19th, the 13% illuminated moon passes close to Jupiter in Gemini. On August 20th, it swings by Venus, a gorgeous sight in the dawn sky. And on August 21st, the ultra-thin 3% crescent moon gets close to Mercury, low on the eastern horizon in Cancer. This one's trickier to spot, but definitely worth trying. Finally, on August 26th, a 11% lit moon meets Mars in the constellation Virgo. It's a nice reddish pairing, easily visible in the early morning sky with the naked eye or binoculars. So if you love seeing the moon mingling with the planets, August gives you a whole dance card of cosmic dates. All you have to do is wake up early and look east. Before you head out, here are a few tips to help you get the best views. Know your moon phases. The new moon makes for perfect dark skies, especially for meteor showers. But around the full moon its brightness will drown out faint objects, so plan accordingly. City lights can wash out all but the brightest stars and meteors. If you can, drive out to a darker area or find a local dark sky park or rural spot. Give your eyes at least 20 minutes to adjust to the dark and avoid looking at your phone. Use a red light flashlight if you need to check charts or settings. You don't need fancy gear. Some events, like meteor showers and planetary conjunctions, are best with just your eyes. But if you've got binoculars or a small telescope, take them along. They'll help with planets, the moon, or catching Uranus or Neptune. Don't forget the basics. Bring a blanket or reclining chair, dress for the cooler nighttime air, and maybe pack some snacks and warm drinks. Meteor watching takes patience, but it's also peaceful. Apps can help you find what's up and where, or just print a simple star map to guide your evening. And one quick safety reminder, never use binoculars or a telescope to look near the sun. Even during sunrise or sunset, the concentrated light can cause permanent eye damage. Always double-check where the sun is before pointing any optical gear skyward. Stargazing is best with company, so grab a friend, look up and enjoy the show. Clear skies and happy stargazing! Before we wrap up this month's space events, there's one more not-so-visible but incredibly cool mission milestone happening in August. This one from deep space. The European Space Agency's JUICE mission, that's short for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, will be making a gravity assist maneuver at Venus this month. This flyby is one of several planned as JUICE gains momentum for its long journey to Jupiter. After swinging by Venus, it will perform two more Earth flybys, gradually shaping its path toward the outer solar system. The ultimate goal? To arrive at the Jupiter system by 2031, where JUICE will explore Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa, three of Jupiter's largest moons, all of which may have subsurface oceans and the potential ingredients for life. Unfortunately, we won't be able to see this flyby from Earth, but it's an exciting reminder that space exploration is constantly happening, even when we can't spot it in the sky. So while you're watching meteors and planets dance overhead, remember, there's also a robot hurtling through space, on its way to unlock the mysteries of Jupiter's icy moons. How cool is that? That wraps up everything happening in the sky this August. From meteor showers and moon phases to planetary pairings, and even a spacecraft slingshotting past Venus. Now we want to hear from you. What are you most excited to watch this month? The Perseids? The Six Planet Alignment? Or maybe you're following the JUICE mission? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss what's coming up next month in the sky. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.